Well, it's getting closer now. Just days away. And today the, the government is having a little discussion. I don't know what they're going to do. They play their game. Um, but we shall see. Uh, but I talked to my brother, Brother John, yesterday. Hi, John. Because little did I know, he's one of the people who are watching me. And he's joined the gang. It's a, we call it the Five Hand Gang, because that's how many people are in it. Um, and that's including my, my nephew, Jack. Hello, Jack. <laughs> so anyway, um, I thought, what can we talk about today? Because I've done, I did a vlog last night. If you haven't seen it, chaps, it's all about what we built yesterday. Uh, well, the finishing bits, not finished at all, but just to show the Playmobil man who's coming down tomorrow, today. He's coming down this morning, so he's there. But I thought, I know what I'll do. As John, I just talked to John last night and found out he was one of the people that watch. I'll show something from our, from our childhoods, from our past. And something that I think is quite interesting, and also shows what a tight git I am, and also how I um, how I think about life. I put the light on. So when we were little boys, I got three brothers, and my grandma lived just around the corner from where we lived in Bramley Way in Bewdley, and she lived on Conston Way, and it was only virtually probably about 150 yards away from where we lived, and we used to be around there all the time. And when we were good, we could be able to get a sweet out of the sweet bowl, or was able to, I mean, I can't remember as if we, we weren't allowed to dive in until we were older, but she had the biscuit tins. And when she died, she died, at, she was just over 100 when she died, so, it, it, she, you know, she, she hadn't said I said a welcome, but she did a good inning, do you know what I mean? Um, no, she was lovely. And she actually, uh, I inherited her biscuit tins, and here they are. Grandma's biscuit tins. These have got so much memory. In this one here, these were always had the club biscuits and they had the tuck biscuits. These were always the wrap biscuits, penguins. Which colour did you prefer? I we used to have massive arguments. I don't know if you remember John, massive arguments. Everybody wanted the uh, uh, the blue was first, then the red, then I think it was the green, and then the one that really was the shitty one was the yellow. It was all the bloody same, but we used to really argue about it. And it used to have that lovely paper that you, it was uh, the silver back paper that you could unwrap and you could play with afterwards. This modern stuff, it's plastic it's crap. See, that that's green, eh? And then this was a tin that had the biscuits in. Now, I do use them from time to time as biscuit tins, and I have this year. I wanted to think, how can I save money? And I thought, and I looked at the the biscuit actual um, combos you get for Christmas, and you know you open them up, and most of it is packaging, and you get about eight biscuits of each flavour. There's three or four of them you don't like, so I thought, bugger this, I'm gonna go down to Lidl and buy some biscuits to fit into these tins for Christmas, and we'll be able to get full packs. And there just happens we've got a um, we've got the, the app now. I've got a mobile phone. Bought, I think I might have mentioned this. We don't actually use it. It's not, got no credit on it, and uh, we can't actually use it outside the house. And it just allows us to go onto the code to be able to get the actual um, the the discounts from Lidl. And we've got fifteen percent off these. But the whole biscuits that I bought cost us just shy of four pounds. Now, if you imagine. A big, a big pack of biscuits of this size tin. This size tin. I ain't talking small here, ladies and gentlemen. What I would say would be the equivalent of two packs of the normal size ones. That cost about three ninety nine. So you look about eight quid. So this is what I got. Are you ready? This is the highlight of your year. Here we go. We're going in. Whoa! What we got? What we got? Well, we got. Pig rolls. Oh, I like pig rolls. They're lovely. We've got ginger nuts. <laughs> ginger nuts. <laughs> Sorry, I, 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 I do apologise. Um, we've got uh, these ones. They're nice. These are lights. I, 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 haven't, I haven't got my glasses on. My sec. I can't put my glasses on because I can't read it. I still got my sec. Chocolatey rounds. They're nice. I like those. We've got these. Oh look, chocolate chunky cookies. Mm. We've got, oh look, 
Who's the nut cookies? I mean, they are like jam and cream. They're like jam and cream dodgers, but they're, they're basically, I love them with the cream as well. Don't know, none of these we normally have. When I'm on a, not on a diet, I normally just have, I, I like to depict the di digestive biscuits. Sometimes with chocolate on, but not always. And then we got in here, we got more, we have got more. There we got, uh, now our grandma made the best shortbread. But we've got a, some uh, Orba tree shortbread fingers, oh lovely. And we've got some fruit shortcake. So there we go, all those biscuits, just shy of four pounds. I think we've got some more actually. I've got another pack that couldn't fit in, but I don't know where they are now. Oh, I've got, I've got the pink, waif pink wafers. Pink wafers. I always thought they were invented by the Pink Panther when I was a kid. I thought it was actually one of his products that he made. There were a lot of things there when I was a kid that I didn't really quite get, I've got to be honest. Anyway, here we are ladies and gentlemen. So, a little bit of history from my grandma and my money saving tip for Christmas. So we've got about twice as much biscuits for half the price. Anyway, I'm waffling now, so it's time to say goodbye.